I got the first one in four hours, man. It was insane how it happened. Uh, like literally my first day. How much was it and what did you do to get that deal? I just got a bunch of government lists. I, and the first list I called was fire damage property and the, the uh, assignment fee was 30000 It's closing on on the 7th. Um, man, first of all, I just want to say thank you and your father, obviously, for what y'all do. All the gold that comes out of your mouth is truly insane. Uh, I just had a question um, about scaling up. Your last couple of videos kind of went in detail about it. I just missed something like um, when you're pulling lists, which which is pretty much what I'm doing right now. That's the majority of how I'm marketing. Uh, and you do start to hire VAs and things like that. And you maybe have two or three and uh, you know, you have them working for eight hours and things like that. How are we supposed to keep the lists you know, uh, uh, like optimal, like how, because I'm, I'm working full time right now and I'm pretty much calling for like three hours a day, um, two hours after work, you know, I'm calling my lunch and stuff too. But uh, when, when they are cold calling and stuff and they've got all day to do it, eight hours and things like that, they're going to be running through the cold call list or the uh, government list like crazy. Right. So, and, and it seems like, I'm not sure, but I just from looking at all the lists and stuff, it doesn't seem like they would last, you know, a whole month or something like that. So should I do pull lists like every 15 days, every month or just as needed? I also do other marketing as well, but, Good question, man. What market are you in? Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So Louisville's a pretty easy one. I'm not saying that. I'm I agree. agree. Like it, you're not going to run out of lists in Louisville. I'll tell okay. you that. Okay. So what you got to understand about lists is it's kind of like that, not a Venn diagram. It's kind of that diagram of like the smaller the niche, the better per deal. So if it did a, like a thousand of leads, I'll a hundred percent pull a deal. And then you kind of have to go a little, you have to spread out the radius where, yeah, you're spreading out a little more and it's going to take more leads to do one deal and it's less niche, but it's still worth it. And so obviously the, the best ones are the drawing for dollars, right? The reverse drawing for dollars. And then you got the government list, the probates, code violations, liens, tax delinquencies, water shot offs, arrest records. And then you got the paid list. And then you just go on and on out from there, right? And so for Louisville, how many leads are you having your cold calls call right now? So um, I was just wondering, cause I'm about to start scaling up. Uh, just, I just found some success and uh, uh, I just, uh, how many, how many what? Currently right now, skip trace. I don't have anyone working for me at the moment. So what's the question, man? The question is- How many yeah. do you have skip trace currently right now? Oh, uh, yeah, I just got I just got a new list in. Um, uh, actually, I, I just got a new list in. <laughs> I haven't skip traced it. it. It was yesterday when I got the list in. So at zero. Pretty much, yeah. No big deal. I'm, I'm just trying to get the actual numbers. So I, I would- I would say, uh, yeah, skip trace, not at all. Not having, I haven't started skip tracing this no new deal, list, man. but uh -huh. no big deal. Let's, if you're going to hire VAs to do this, pull at least 10,000. That sounds like a lot, but if you're going to have VAs co call full time, at least 10,000, mm -hmm. let's just see how long that lasts. Yeah. I, if it was one cold caller, I'd say five, but you're saying multiple. So I'd probably say 10. Five for each cold caller and then see what they can do. Understood. Understood. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I mean, everything else you break down quite perfectly, you know, so I just wanted to get that out out there because you know there's just kind of a different a few different variables there but yeah man that was really it um thank yeah, you i appreciate you hopping on it, it's better just to ask for my advice and not take it than just assume what i'm gonna say and then like just go after it and then maybe it's something i could have helped you on uh so pull the list if you're in louisville i could tell you i want you to pull like at least two thousand government lists if mm. you can that's a lot uh maybe a thousand let's, let's try a thousand okay try at least a thousand government lists and drawing for dollars list and then nine thousand paid and then we can start experimenting and see which one's giving the best results or not. Gotcha. Be experimental when it comes to VAs. So I should definitely pay for a lot of these lists too. The government list, the free ones probably wouldn't be a sufficient amount. Government lists, you don't have to pay for. So right. four base code violations, liens, those are free. Mm -hmm. um, now to get 10,000, even in Louisville, I would probably, we have some really good filters on listrari.com or zachdata.com, whatever one you want. Those I'm going to probably start, probably the high equities, the vacants. Mm -hmm. um, you can do pre foreclosures if you want to do them really quick like that in the liens that could easily take it to ten thousand, and i think from there try 10 and then see where that takes you understood understood yeah because i was just trying to continuously make a uh, deal solo and like for free right now i just have like a, cer a certain little plan that i was trying to follow uh if you for, like, for this free, first year. We, we, there's a different plan for that yeah that's what i was trying to do i don't know i didn't mention that but uh yeah i mean like i said i i just it worked for me already, so I'm just trying to keep doing that for a little bit of time until I really want to put some money in and start scaling up. But I was just kind of trying to figure out. Now you got to understand this, and I'm I'm not telling you I don't know your financial situation like that. I knew my financial situation starting out right. Like I knew I had 200 bucks. No, sorry, 300 bucks. I can't. I couldn't do what you were doing. Okay, so if you're doing it for free, go do that. I'll probably reverse try for dollars. You have at least 100 bucks a month. That's Louisville works really good for that. Now remember, if you're doing the two VAs, the dial, it's going to be 14, 1500 bucks at probably 
probably two grand a month. So it's mm -hmm. the two VAs, man, it, it gets a little expensive. I don't want you to think it's going to be cheaper than you are imagining. Yeah. Um, and then the one thing not a lot of people tell you is if you want your VAs to work really well, you're actually going to have to train them very well. So Trey, let me ask you a very, I'm not going to just, this is a question you're probably not going to like, but this, how many cold calling deals have you done? In one. One. Yeah. So here's the issue, bro. You're not going to be that good of a trainer for cold calling for wholesaling if you don't have, if you haven't closed a lot of deals. Right. And that's going to make your VAs worse. I hate to say it, but unfortunately it's that. And then people go, oh, there's this VA service that trains VAs for me. Who's training it? Probably Molly, who the guru hired, but yeah. hasn't done any cold calling deals. And then she's doing her little PowerPoint training. Like She's out of college, Texas A&M. Like, like that's her, she, she learned marketing. And then what do you think is going to happen? And so it's a tough one, bro. Like it's really a tough one. No, you're right. A hundred percent. Uh, that's that's why I kind of just wanted to keep doing it solo until I you know get more comfortable. And I was thinking maybe like three or four deals, and then I'd start trying to train people. But um, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's you're right on the money with that. Um, well, let me tell you this: man. it's going to be at least ten hours a week of training for at mm. least a month before you get the VAs going. And no one talks about that. If you legit want VAs where you can kind of like put your hands off and let them go, you're good. That that's about it's about forty hours of training for two VAs. Now you could just hire a VA, VA off of Fiverr or Upwork and then just have them cold call but they're gonna suck like they're gonna absolutely suck because they're not gonna do what you want to do mm. and i hate to say this Trey, you don't even know what they want you don't even know what you want to do mm -hmm. you don't have the experience enough for it and so no, no. it's kind of a bad situation now the good part is i could tell you what to train them for and there are ways you can actually train them but if you don't have the money right now i would probably wait i don't know if it's worth just dropping all that cash right now um maybe you want to start getting some deals into your belt so you're not financially strapped under this mm -hmm. because i'd rather you wholesale with 100 200 bucks a month and hustle and get some deals and then do that then spend all your money and then have no money at all and now you're stressed and now you're really have some resentment for doing all this and not having any deals right and so i kind of look at it like poker man you like poker i don't know how to play <laughs> all right you know you know card games work right yeah i, I i'm looking at the, I'm looking at the river uh, I'm, look, I'm, look, I'm looking at i'm looking at the cars on the table i'm looking at my cards and i just got to make an educated decision of which how i'm going to play this right your cards aren't looking too good mm -hmm. uh, they're just going all in the va route if you don't have the money for it it might be better just to fold right now and just go for the next deck and see what it is right and so right. how much time do you have to put into wholesaling i know you got a full-time job i don't know if you have kids family other responsibilities but like how much time can you comfortably put into wholesaling a week yeah at this very moment i mean honestly i was planning on making like one more deal and kind of just quitting you know and starting to focus on this whole time because uh, this first one was great but uh i don't have any kids I, I, right now currently i'm just doing like 15 hours a week Week. So fit, dude, that's that's plenty. Okay, Damn, I got the first one in four hours, man. It was insane how it happened. Uh, like literally, my first day. How much was it, and what did you do to get that deal? I just got a bunch of government lists. I, and the first list I called was fire damage property, and the, the uh, assignment fee was thirty thousand. It's closing on on the seventh, uh, so like the day after tomorrow. So Trey, I'm a very simple man. <laughs> if you made thirty grand on a fire damage property, I'm going to tell you to keep. Yeah, yeah. And so, dude, come on, thirty grand on fire damage. First, first of all. Congratulations to you. No, thank you, man. Thank people you, man. That listen to me, so thank you. Because it's because so many people decided not to listen to me when I told them to do fire damage properties. You made thirty grand. Shout out to you. Yeah, it's insane. Honestly, like every time I think about it, I start getting you know, a little shaky and whatnot. It's insane what you guys do, man. Like I said, gold out of your mouth is what is what is what's coming out. It's insane. I just followed everything you did verbatim, copied everything. You know, uh, the wholesaling, pre wholesaling dot com. <laughs> Didn't try and change anything. The script, everything is the exact same. You know. It's, Dude, so what I can tell you here is let's focus on that first, man. Yeah. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. You seem pretty young coming from a 23. You, you seem young. like you're not like, oh, I got to make I gotta make rent tomorrow, right? Like, I, I think you're fine. You, you're, yeah. you're not too old to get in this business. Let's be patient, man. Yeah. Let's, hey, make 30K this month. Yeah. Let's do that again. Yeah. Let's do that again. <laughs> and then let's start. Now we got, now we run up 69. Now we run up 90K. Right. Now we can start throwing some money into it, right? Yes. Uh, so let's, let's do the five. Let's do government list right now. Let's cold call that. And let's start adding some reverse running for dollars on the government list on some free time. Let's start doing some more deals, getting some momentum and get it going, dude. At your Excuse point, me. I was doing 20, 25K deals every month, every other month at that point when I was like a straight up beginner. I, I didn't have to go to 100K a month at my first year. Just let's slowly build it up and you'll do fine. Man, no right. the pyramids, dude. They didn't just go straight up. They, they built the base really well and then they start going up. It, it's a structure that you cannot destroy. Mm. So 
that you're you're making your pyramid okay let's yeah. make the base really good right now and let's just shoot back up man understood understood appreciate it appreciate the advice man thank you dude you are in you're inspiring me you're inspiring i think everybody in the comments and you're getting people say you know i maybe i should listen to zach maybe, man listen to this maybe man I'm not a completely <laughs> crazy person screaming behind you guys no. four, five six days a week to do that so congrats to you man yes yes um insane what you guys are doing um uh and yeah i mean if anything i'd say just 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 speak highly you know if you're cold calling people just just you know be try and be a little charming and speak with enthusiasm man it just makes everything a lot easier and uh, it's just a numbers game you know just listen to zach listen to his dad and and it'll eventually happen that's for sure dude you inspire me to wake up every morning and do what i do here so i appreciate you man appreciate you keep doing it do the work every single day i promise you even if you don't see the results they'll come i mean you're already so you know, man, that's like doing six five thousand dollar deals i don't you know you just start doing it okay you, you keep yes, doing sir. what you're doing don't stop all right understood you have appreciate a good one man. i want to see you next week i, I want to make sure uh you're doing what you got to do all right sounds good i'll see you then all right appreciate it man bye-bye